to China Plus Radio, connecting you with China and the world. And now the news. I'm Lai Ming. Cambodian Prime Minister Samdek Techo Hun Sen says that the kingdom's relations with China have become closer after his visit to Beijing earlier this week. Hun Sen paid a visit to China on Wednesday. When meeting Chinese President Xi Jinping, Hun Sen said that he had decided to make a special visit to China to showcase Cambodia's support to China in fighting the outbreak of the coronavirus epidemic. The Cambodian government says that as some countries have adopted extreme restrictive measures to curb the virus. Hong Sen's Beijing visit told the world there was no need to be extremely scared and panicked. Britain's Queen Elizabeth II has conveyed her condolences to Chinese Ambassador to Britain Liu Xiaoming for China's losses, as well as blessings for the Chinese people's efforts in the fight against the epidemic. The Queen's message was conveyed by Prince Andrew, the Duke of York, while he and his family attended a celebration for the Chinese New Year at the ambassador's official residence on Thursday. Prince Andrew said the Queen was very concerned and understood that the fight is now at a crucial stage. Chinese health authorities have received reports of 3,399 new confirmed cases of novel coronavirus infection and 86 deaths by Friday. Among the deaths, 81 are in Hubei Province. The National Health Commission says the overall confirmed cases on the Chinese mainland have reached over 34,500. Over 720 people have died of the disease. 2,050 people have been discharged from hospital after recovery. Doctors say recent reinforcements of health professionals, especially intensive care staff, will greatly help improve the cure rate and reduce the fatality rate of severe cases. Meanwhile, the new confirmed cases outside Hubei Province has been dropping for four consecutive days, and the nationwide mortality rate also drops. China has fast-tracked the approval of the testing kits for novel coronavirus pneumonia. The National Medical Products Administration says the registration of seven testing products for seven enterprises have been approved, expanding the supply capacity of nucleic acid testing kits. The performance and safety of these products have met the technical requirements after strict testing. China says it will continue to crack down on any forms of illegal wildlife trade amidst the coronavirus outbreak. The State Administration for Market Regulation says China has suspended all trading of wild animals nationwide to curb the spread of the novel coronavirus. For the past two weeks, the Chinese market regulators paid a total of nearly 1.5 million inspection visits to markets across the country, and over 3,700 markets and operators have been closed for rectification, and more than 16,000 breeding sites have been cordoned off, controlled, and isolated. Reports say that the novel coronavirus may have originated in wild animals. Approved by the Communist Party of China Central Committee. Wang Haosheng, deputy head of the National Health Commission, was appointed as a member as well as a standing committee member of the CPC Hubei Provincial Committee. One article has reached over one million views on social media, entitled "Something's Not Right Here, Folks." It compares China's reactions to the coronavirus with the H1N1 outbreak in the United States 11 years ago. In an interview with CCTN, his author Mario Cavallo says the vicious, political, xenophobic, racist attacks and smearing of all things China need to stop. Mario Cavallo is an Italian-American writer, artist, speaker, and communication advisor. He's been in power for 20 years. Michael Ryan, executive director of the World Health Organization Health Emergencies Program, is urging that no stigma should be associated with the new coronavirus. He adds that profiling of individuals is utterly and completely unacceptable, and it needs to stop. Ryan underlines that governments have the responsibility to educate their populations on the threat of discrimination. The WHO says the final name of the disease will be provided by the International Classification of Diseases, with the final decision being made by the International Committee on Taxonomy of Viruses. The Swedish Post and Telecom Authority says there will be no Huawei ban as Sweden moves forward with plans to roll out 5G technology in the country. Sweden's 5G frequency licenses will be assigned following an auction in October. Anna Beckius, a senior official from the Swedish Post and Telecom Authority, says although the Chinese tech company will not be automatically excluded from the bidding process, any company that wants to take part in the auction must first undergo a review by the Swedish armed forces and the Swedish security service. And that's the news. I'm Lai Ming.